Hey guys, what's up? I Sec the Tron here from One Hive Gazette, bringing you guys my next war recap video. And it was another one of those wars against Star Wars Clan. The name kind of was suspicious to begin with as far as a hardcore war clan goes, because uh, they obviously weren't one. And they were mainly uh, Town Hall 10s and 11s uh, in quotes. I would put that in quotes because the defenses were more Town Hall 8 wise. Um, I guess you could call them a war clan, but very, very casual, uh, which, you know, is cool if they want to do it that way, but uh, makes it an uninteresting war for us, and uh, not a whole lot happened. But the silver lining in this war is there was a lot of great Town Hall 8 attacks to show. Um, they had the bottom Town Hall 8s for them actually were pretty well upgraded and had some, you know, solid bases, not anti-3, but solid bases. Uh, so we're going to take a look at some of those. Uh, first, we're going to start with the one non-Town Hall 8 attack, the best one I could find. And obviously this isn't the uh, most ideal base to show, but you know, it has an Inferno Tower. And we're taking a look at uh, Yeager, a Town Hall 9. So whenever there's an Inferno, it makes it a little tricky. And this guy actually does have all max uh, defenses besides like the Air Sweepers and stuff. So, I mean, not the easiest uh, base to 3-star by any means. Uh, so we're going to take a look at this attack. Yeager is just coming in with a Queen Walk. Uh, goes ahead and I think drops a hog to lure out the CC. Um, just gonna let his queen work on the CC troops. Just some archers, dragon, looks like um, I think an actual hog actually came out. Uh, but anyway, pops the ability, no big deal. Uh, gets the CC troops taken care of. And you know, like, like I said, has the option between a rage and the ability. Goes ahead and uses the ability. I tend to prefer that also because maybe you won't need the rage and then that way you can use it on something else. But if you don't need the ability, you can't use that on something else. It only works for the queen, obviously. Uh, so sometimes the ability is the best way to go uh, when you're deciding, especially if it's the CC troops, because uh, a rage spell works for pretty much anything else. But anyway, uh, Quakes to get into the middle of the base, uh, down at the bottom there. Just going to make a big uh, wide gap for his kill squad to get in. And then goes ahead and drops that rage uh, for the queen. Turns out he did need it. Um, maybe could have got away without it, but better safe than sorry. Um, the queen's going to be at full health very easily. Coming in at the bottom now with the golems, a uh, queen's going to meet up with the kill squad. Perfect timing on that part. And then dropping a few wizards to create the funnel. There comes the CC golem. Everything's going to make its way into the base. Perfect uh, funnel for all his troops. Uh, you can see the queen after that storage goes down. It's going to take a... Oh, she does go through the wall here. Excuse me. Yeah, she's going to go through that wall. But only, you know, a pink wall. So a few shots, it's down. Uh, she keeps moving through. Goes ahead and drops the king, nice and late. Um, don't want to get targeted by the single Inferno, so very smart to wait on it there. The one, <clears throat> the one thing is that the uh, with just golems and heroes, that single Inferno is going to start burning through his troops real quick. So good job getting the hogs in early, I would say, because um, all his troops are big tanks, like, the, like I said, the king, both golems, the queen. Uh, so get those hogs going early, let them take out the Inferno as soon as possible, and it all works out here. Um, Queen's just holding on for dear life, but the healers are going to get her all the way back to full health. Comes in with this last group of hogs. Um, pretty solid deployment all around. Obviously not the cleanest, doesn't have a heal for these last few defenses, but doesn't need it. And um, the, like I said, Infernos always complicate the Town Hall 9 situation. And I don't want to get into the details, but I always thought after the update, uh, just one level 1 Inferno would be good to add to Town Hall 9 just to make the game a little more balanced there and maybe add an expo to Town Hall 8. Uh, but I don't want to get into that in this video, maybe another video for that. Uh, so kind of cool to see this 3-star on a bit of a trickier base. Obviously the walls aren't that great, but uh, has the upgrade defenses plus the Inferno. So nice job to Yeager getting the 3-star up there. All right, now those Town Hall 8 attacks I talked about. Um, only have two, don't have a ton. Uh, but there were two bases that you guys probably see a lot just in the typical random wars you get in. Uh, these kind of forum bases, so to speak. I believe this is a cleanup attack, so I knew that giant bomb was there. Um, not sure why he's going in with the hogs on the right side there. Maybe just uh, thought he could get the lure there, but apparently can't. Um, anyway, though, gets two giant bombs triggered, which is actually kind of weird because... I believe this base typically when it's on like the the official forum has the giant bombs in the core so it was kind of interesting that they were that far out 
Anyway, though, I guess it works out uh, pretty nicely here for Noob. Um, so just poisons the dragon. We'll fast forward as this all happens. Uh, two poisons, the dragon's dead. Uh, all good there. Coming in with the hogs, a few go flying to a spring trap, uh, but the rest are making their way in. Just a nice surgical deployment. Obviously, the Teslas are going to be in the core, so it has to have that heal. Uh, but great placement on that. All the hogs are getting healed up. Uh, I would use the king to tank uh, just so uh, you get some benefit from all his hit points, but goes ahead and drops the king in a cleanup type uh, spot, which is no big deal. Has plenty of hogs. They're making their way through the core, um, taking out these defenses. Nice kind of, uh, what is this, counterclockwise surgical. Uh, so nice uh, job by Noob as these last few hogs finish up. Um, not the most difficult attack, but had the giant bombs and been in the middle. Uh, Would have made it a little bit uh, trickier. So, uh, yeah, just wanted to show a Town Hall 8 for you guys because it's not that often that we see one. Uh, but when I can, I do try to show these, especially in these kind of wars. All right, we'll fast forward because it's just the hogs running around, a few wizards, and the king. Um, last few buildings go down, and that's a three star. Nice job to a noob. Okay. Uh, last one we're going to take a look at is also a noob on the other um, semi-good Town Hall 8 base. Obviously another forum, whatever you want to call it, anti-two-star. Uh, just the typical layout you see in these kind of casual war clans. And, uh, I mean, they're not the easiest to three-star. They're typically a lot more straightforward than, uh, say, an anti-three-star base at Town Hall 8. But they can trip you up, and the same goes for Town Hall 9. So it's good to always uh, see some of these and uh, to practice on them a little bit because uh, only attacking anti-three-star bases can uh, kind of get your anti-two-star, three-star game off a little bit, if that makes sense. Uh, so anyway, coming in with some hogs at the top here, a bunch of skeleton traps pop, and then the king. I think he was just getting in here and trying to sniff for giant bombs in that little moat by the king pad, um, just to make, make it so they don't have to path in that area. Uh, turns out that one cannon didn't go down just because the skellies uh, did a lot of work on the hogs. But not a big deal. That heal comes in at great timing. A lot of those hogs were at pretty low health. So I'm going to get those back up to full health. Uh, working the surgical deployment again. Going clockwise. Everything's great here. Has two heals left in the bag. I'm going to be very patient on them. Um, that one heal could have been a little bit higher up. But uh, kind of splitting hairs at this point. The base is pretty much wrecked. And I think he avoids the giant bombs for the most part. That are right there. I think there was like a double set, but only uh, gets one glancing blow by, uh, in by the town hall, and then another one goes off by the uh, moat that he was trying to avoid. So it didn't didn't necessarily work out the best, but um, had a lot of room for error on this base. So it gets the three star. Uh, nice job to a noob. Um, not not the best town hall eight bases, but didn't have a whole lot to work with uh, from this war. Cause trust me, that town hall nine base or town hall ten ish base that I showed first was the best non-Town Hall 8 attack that there really was to show. So that's not saying a lot. This was a pretty brutal war for us, uh, but had fun. And, you know, it's a clan war. Have fun despite uh, some of these poor bases. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, arranged war coming up is the good news. So I'll have some coverage of that. Um, definitely a lot more attacks than the ones in this. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye, Sectatron out.